Welcome to the Be Amazing At channel. In this video, we'll look at how to make revision or flashcards so you can be amazing at revision. In the last video on the revision playlist, we looked at how you can plan and schedule your time using a study timetable. And in this video, we'll look at how to make revision or flashcards. They're a great technique to help you memorize and retrieve key ideas. But there are a few do's and don'ts. Try putting a question or a keyword on one side and the answer on the other. Using diagrams or images also really works well. You can buy them or make your own by dividing an A4 piece of card or paper into four pieces. Don't just rewrite or copy down notes from your lessons, books or websites. Don't rely on someone else's revision cards or pre-made ones off the internet. These are passive techniques that are less effective at helping you to remember and then retrieve the information. To help make it a more active process, try to summarise, condense or chunk the information and then keep testing yourself. Another thing to avoid is cramming too much information onto each revision card. An easy way to do this is to skim read the paragraph and highlight the key words. Try to space out your notes and include just a few key points for each card. Or ideally, just one key idea or answer per card. And don't forget, as these are your revision notes, you also don't need to use full sentences or even full words. You can abbreviate and use symbols. You can even try memorising quotes or facts by doing a gap fill exercise. The advice from researchers is to keep them simple, numerous and overlap the content and then keep testing yourself. This will help you link and get the ideas into your long term memory. At first, you should get someone to test you or test yourself fairly frequently and then leave bigger gaps of time between reviewing the ideas. This is a technique called spaced learning. And some people say this technique is out of this world. There are online apps and websites that can help you to make revision cards. And these can really help with the spaced learning approach. However, remember that copying or relying upon the pre-made sets of cards is less effective than you going through the topics, identifying those which you struggle with and making the cards on these topics. Once you've made a set of revision cards for a topic, I would recommend using a paper clip, a piece of string or an envelope to keep them all together as they're easily lost or damaged. Some pupils even do a colour code for different topics and have a filing system to keep them all organised. And finally, for other tips and techniques, to help you schedule and manage your time, check out the revision playlist on the Be Amazing At channel. And why not try using the study timer to help you chunk your time when you're working? The link's in the description below. I hope you found the video useful and feel happier or more confident. Please remember to share, like and subscribe to the channel so you can get notifications when the next videos come out. Thanks for watching and until next time, be safe. Be kind, be amazing.